Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. If you are brand new, thank you for clicking here. I appreciate you. I hope you'll stay. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you will touch that bell button so you know when I'm uploading. Today is Earth Sign Day. Today I will be, will be reading for you, Taurus, and then your cousins, Capricorn and Virgo. Um, we're going to start with the round cards today. We haven't used them in a little bit, so let's do that. Taurus, if you are my ride or die, thanks so much for clicking here. I appreciate you, and if you haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching anyway because I come through your feed, I hope you will check to see that you're subscribed. Thanks so much for doing that. This is going to be a reading for the week ahead, Taurus. Always for the week ahead, whenever you find it. Whenever you find it, it will always be for the week ahead, whether that's today, tomorrow, or next year. Let's look at the round cards. Let's get some energy from these oracles, and then we will hit it up with some tarot, Taurus. Let's find out what's going on. All right, we've got a few that are falling out here. We'll just take that bunch. We'll just do that. Let's do one of these. We're the Wild West out here today. <laughs> Let's get it done. We've got one. We'll just take two of these. Okay, well, we'll take those. I guess we're going to take more than, more than uh, two. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Let's get to it. We've got, uh, Taurus, we've got the scales. It says, keep your life in balance. So, your indication that something might be out of balance in the week ahead. Make sure that you keep everything in balance. You are highly thought of. Someone is thinking of you, Taurus. We've got tulips, great passion. So somebody is thinking about you with great passion, Taurus. Uh, somebody's got memories of you that they can't let go of, and they might be thinking, you know, in some kind of way about you. <laughs> the good way. <laughs> Maybe the passionate way. So we have seahorses. It says... Um, family matters. Uh, so there might be some something coming up with your family to do in the week ahead. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Okay. And then we have the harp. It says great happiness. I like that energy here. The seahorse, family matters, money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. And then we've got the harp, great happiness. Something is going to seem harmonious in the week ahead. What's going on here? We've got the ship, directions and journey. We've got the fish. I like when the fish show up because it's always about abundance and luck. I like that. We've got flowers, uh, romance, sweetness. Look, Taurus, something is coming up. We've got um, the house, relocation or a home. And I think I've told you that before, that it felt like some of you are moving. We have love or new love. So very interesting energy in the oracles today. Abundance, love, romance, sweetness. Maybe you might be moving. We have uh, new love for some of you. Some of you, it is love in general. We've got someone who's thinking about you in a sort of passionate way. And uh, let's see what the, uh, what the tarot has to say about you for the week ahead. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus. So I think that Something is coming in money. So for some of you, I feel like someone is going to get surprise money. And uh, it says it's waiting for you to find it. So I think that you have to take a step forward to go look for it. And what I mean by that is you have to go apply for the job that maybe you think you won't get. Or you have to apply for that um, that position to get your promotion or uh, something like that. It could be some sort of money that comes to you through... Um, through somebody who's left you money, possibly. Um, but it does look like it is going to be harmonious here. It says great happiness. Tell me what else is coming up for Taurus, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Look below this video. There is a link that says more. Click there. All the info you need is there, including my email address. We have a Magician and we have the Ten of Swords. That's an interesting combination. Taurus, I think that you have the power to bring something to an end that you are um, sort of sitting on here because it's going to be painful. It's like uh, somebody here is has all the magic. They know what to do. They have all the resources, all the skills. You can do it by yourself. You know your worth. And I feel like there is something that, that needs to end here and that you're scared to end it. Uh, it might be a relationship or something that's going on within your family. T take it that as it resonates. Let's keep moving here. Tell me about the magician. We've got the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So I want to say that if you're looking at starting a side gig here, Taurus, I feel like this is the money we were talking about. It feels like there is something here that you can do all on your own that will be very abundant. And um, we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. Very interesting. So as I say, you can build it alone shows the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is telling me with the Ten of Swords that you really don't need help. You can do it on your own. Look, it might be harder. It'll take you longer. You might need um, more education. There might be a lot of things that you have to do in order to, um, to be able to be um, 
in a place that you want to be, which is the which is right here with the Taurus energy here, the King of Pentacles. I feel like um, I feel like there are people that are on your team, but I feel like you're doing it on your own anyway. I feel like you're kicking people off your team, is what I want to say. With the Ten of Swords here, it feels like you don't trust this group of people. Or maybe this group of people are sort of in it for themselves. They want you to teach them, but they're not teaching you much. Sometimes that will happen, right? And it might be because you're the magician. Because you're the person that has... Um, that has all the capabilities and resources here. Um, we could be talking about a relationship or we could be talking about a friend group or maybe you're on a project with somebody. Uh, it could be a work thing. We do have a lot of pentacles here, right? It could be a work thing. Maybe you've been assigned to a project where everybody's watching you do all the work. Um, could be that as well. I feel like this is something that you don't like that you were going to bring to an end. Or, you know, I feel like you're going to go off and do it by yourself because I think you can probably do it more efficiently. Maybe it'll take you longer, but you might be more efficient in doing it on your own. And I feel like you will get accountability for it. Like, I feel people will see you as the King of Pentacles, somebody who's working really hard for um, whatever they want, right? For stability, for money. Um, all right. We've got more pentacles. Look, Taurus. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on in your pentacle world here. Um, we've got reciprocity. We have the ace of um, wands, which is excitement, creativity. Um, it feels like, it almost feels like people are, it's like people want to take uh, credit for your job, for, for the thing that you're doing, you're working really hard on. That's what it feels like. Somebody here wants to take credit for, um, for something that you're doing here. But I feel like you're the one with all the resources, all the money, the resources, whatever, whatever it is here. I feel like you're the one that has, you're the one that has everything in the pentacle world. <laughs> and so you really don't need these people. And I think that they're just sort of hanging out, watching you do all the work. And uh, they could be helping, but they're not. I mean, these people are on your team. They are people who want to collaborate or cooperate. But I feel like you're you're either not letting them help or you're like, y'all are just watching me do the work. I don't really need you around. Tell me about what the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician is. I feel like you have the magic and the resources to do it all on your own, is what I think. We do have the Knight of Cups. We have the Tower. Interesting. And then we have uh, the Hierophant. Wow, and the Three of Cups is here. So, I feel like... Uh, you're... Okay, Taurus, it feels like you're on your own. You are stable on your own. You are confident. You can get the job done on your own. I'm the magician. I'm the master manifester. Whatever, wants, whatever I want wants me. I'm just going to call it all in. I think you're about to go through some sort of a... Um, it feels like you're going to go through some sort of a, a lesson, I want to say. You're about to learn something about yourself. And I think it involves the Tower and the, um, the Knight of Cups. It does feel like there is sort of this lovely, romantic, passive kind of energy that's moving at you slowly, Taurus. And I think while you're on this path by yourself, you're like, nah, I got it. I'm good. I don't need anybody. I got all the resources. I'm dealing with it myself. I'm cool. And then the tower shows up. And it feels like when the tower shows up, the realization is that maybe you would be okay with a partner. Like it feels like, you know, you've built yourself up to here. It's almost as if the nine pentacles is here. And you need one more pentacle in order to get the 10. And I feel like the universe is bringing in the 10, but I think that that, that like bringing in the 10th pentacle, but I feel that that pentacle is coming from somebody who has romantic feelings for you. I feel you're about to meet somebody who I want to say is coming to bring the last pentacle or bring you some help or complete the set or the long-term relationship. The tower is here. And so it's a realization that, yes, you are the Hierophant. You are on your own path. You know what you're doing. People can follow you if they want. You've got all the tools, the resources, the keys. You've got all of that. And then somebody shows up in the chariot. Somebody shows up in the chariot. And they want to take you out. And they want, they want to um, spend time with you. It's a celebratory time. This is somebody that you do want to see. It could be a Cancer, could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, um, could be um, Pisces energy, um, could be Aries. Take it as it resonates. But look at this. We talk about it and it appears. Why? Because the Empress is in the room. <laughs> That's why. So I feel like this person 
with this uh, holding this Ace of Cups here, this deeply romantic person who is always fighting for the freedom to love, for the freedom to be romantic. This person is fighting for love. And I feel like somebody here is bringing you a pentacle, my friend. They're bringing it to the Empress. And um, I feel like somebody is about to arrive and I feel like it's right around the corner for some of you. Whatever timeline you're on, if you're on this timeline, it is around the corner. I feel like you're gonna get some sort of a, a message to go out, someone might ask you out, or to a public um, display of celebration, like a wedding or a baptism or someplace, someplace where there's gonna be a lot of people. I feel like you're kind of all bossed up, but I feel like the universe is sending someone who's romantic to bring you that last pentacle so you can have that the ten pentacles here. Now, I want to say for some of you that this person is someone that you may have kicked off the team. Now, we could look at it as a sports thing, right? Maybe you kicked off the team. Maybe they weren't hustling as hard as you wanted them to. But for a lot of you, I think this is a friendship that ended. That's what it looks like here. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is is um, something in the Pentacle world that is growing. We're learning about it and we're growing. We're getting stability. And I feel like it was cut off at the knees at the Three of Pentacles. We stopped being friends for some reason. Tell me what's going on here for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. That's coming up in the week ahead. Taurus, this week ahead is the last week of March. It is the last week as we roll up on... Uh, uh, on um, Easter, it comes early at the end of March this year, the 31st. And of course, we are in a couple of days. We're straight up into airy season two. All right, so the Three of Cups came back out again. So it looks like we're changing off from the Three of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. We had a very solid, sturdy, pentacle, 3D sort of relationship, friendship. We're on each other's team. Maybe we're team members. And it turns to the Three of Cups. The Three of Pentacles turns to the Three of Cups because I feel like somebody here doesn't want to be your friend anymore or the friendship has come to an end. And I feel like there's been silence. I think there was, it was a hard draw. I'm just saying that I feel like somebody, you went to say something and someone is like, no, nah, I'm just going to close the door here. Like it does feel like a friendship ended here, but it does feel like that friend is now coming back to ask you if you will uh, go out with them? Will you meet them somewhere to have some sort of a celebration or come to a, a public thing, plus one at a wedding maybe? Can you come to a restaurant and meet me there? Um, I feel like your boundaries are tight. I want to say Taurus, because this friendship has already come to an end and somebody now wants to celebrate with you, but they haven't mentioned anything about this about why everything painfully came to an end or maybe y'all just stopped talking to each other maybe it was just silence we have the emperor well looky there hmm we did see the empress on the bottom of the deck we now see the emperor i do feel the emperor is coming to ask you to meet them out somewhere so somebody is taking control of the situation and i don't think it's you this doesn't feel like your energy it does feel like an energy outside of you i feel like the emperor has some pretty solid boundaries as well i want to say that maybe the last time y'all saw each other that you were not emperors and empresses i feel like you the hierophant that you found your magic and you found your magic, which has built you something from one pentacle all the way to the nine. Now you're confident and stable and sturdy. You're dependable. You have a business. You have a viable business that's running. Or you are now, you have uh, sort of climbed the ladder to success in the job that you're doing. But I feel like you have a lot of respect, I want to say. People trust your words because you're honest and noble and truthful and moral. And I feel like you've built some sort of a really great, solid, confident reputation. And so I think that's what's calling in the emperor but i think you know the emperor i think you know this person here no matter what sign they are because right when the emperor's in the room who is aries so are all the kings right we've got the king's energy here as well so taurus we have the king of pentacles which is your energy and then we have the ten of cups what is going on here <laughs> tell me about this i feel like somebody wants to invest here somebody wants to invest or someone sees that that you are the king of pentacles that you're the master manifester, right? The King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. The King of Pentacles doesn't even really have to go after what they want. They just got to manifest it and it shows up. It shows up in abundance here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Somebody here wants to give you reciprocity in the future. 
We do have um, the Four of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands and the Chariot. Look, we have to drop a whole lot of burdens. That's what's going on here. There's been silence, the Four of Swords, because we've been healing the mind. We've, we've been parted. We've been healing. You've been healing, Taurus, for sure. And you've dropped these burdens. You've actually moved right away from these burdens here and towards happiness. It feels like... Um, there is somebody who is coming in here, Taurus, who is the conqueror, someone who brings stability. They bring the empire, someone who owns multiple businesses or a very successful business, somebody who is, you know, writing checks and paying people and has employees and, and all of those things. This person's very busy and carries a lot of stuff all on their own. I feel like this person sees you now as the king of pentacles and is now interested in who you are. Um, I think they knew who you were back there. But I think that you've had an awakening since then. I feel like you've had some sort of a spiritual awakening here, Taurus, with the Hierophant and the Tower. And um, this, uh, this, uh, this Knight of Cups here, I feel is this Emperor is, is the one who has feelings here, who has romantic feelings. This person is wanting to know if you're single. I feel like they want you to go out. They know that your boundaries are tight. They have tight boundaries as well. There has been an ending here. And so I feel like somebody wants to talk about that ending. Um, the Emperor, I feel, is the person who we are talking about. Here, I feel like this for some of you is new love, but for others of you, I feel really feel like it's someone that you already know, but it's not someone that you've dated. I don't feel like there's been any dating. There's no dating history here. I feel like you went on your own. They went on your own. You guys used to be friends and now you, you got to a place where you weren't talking. Maybe life, maybe life did that for you here, but this person's coming in with uh, sweetness, romance, flowers. They see that you're abundant and uh, they might call you lucky if they don't have a spiritual base. Um, this, I feel like they're here to redirect your journey. Taurus. There is somebody coming in here that is going to redirect your journey. And I feel like this person's bringing in money. They might want to invest in you, invest in you, invest in your business. Um, I feel like that's, that's what's going on here. Um, the seahorse tells me that it's going to benefit your family here. We do have great passion. I feel like the reason that this, this emperor is coming in is because they've realized they realize that they have great passion for you because the emperor is also the king of wands, right? Tell me why this thing came to an end between Taurus and the emperor, please. The ace of wands. One of you may have expressed to the other that you were attracted to them. It made you excitable while you were around them. I feel like the emperor may have been sweet on you and maybe that scared them. We do have the Eight of Wands. Look at that. So this person is still kind of behind the fear wall. Eight and one is nine. The Emperor comes in very carefully. So the Emperor is very attracted, is coming in with the idea of starting a new pack, impactful, passionate time with you, a new, a new uh, um, exciting, collaborative, creative sort of path. I think that they have, they want to, it feels like they want to work with you. They want to give you reciprocity. There's the Ace of Wands again. They want to give you reciprocity. They're making a decision to come in after watching you build yourself from a distance. I feel like you're getting communication with the Eight of Wands here. And who the I feel like the Emperor is communicating, telling you that they still have a thing for you. They still have passion for you. There is the Knight of Wands. I feel for some of you, it's coming in super quick. Um, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, that's 10. It tells me the Emperor's coming in to speak with you because they've been heavily burdened about not speaking with you, about whatever happened in this ending here. But you two, I think, are have been friends. Like, like I said, I don't think that this is something that, that ever fell into a place of love. We do have um, the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight. Yeah, this is two people that fell in love through the work process. I feel like you met at the office. You met on a team. You met while you were volunteering. It feels like uh, the emperor is is your boss that's what it feels like or was your boss i don't think this person is any longer this emperor i feel like was your boss tell me why the tower's here tell me about this spiritual awakening for taurus yeah it's a realization that you are not giving anyone access to you that is not bringing all 10 cups well guess what there it is <laughs> Right? We've got the eight cups here. We've got the ten cups here and the six cups. So I feel like you have history with the emperor. I feel like you are not entertaining 
anyone, not anyone, unless they bring all 10 cups. You're ready just to, to disappear into the abyss again if the emperor steps out of line. That's what I think here. I feel like you're charging straight toward the 10 cups and I feel like you also want to drop these burdens, right? The 10 wands is here. And I feel like you have, I want to say. I feel like you have and I feel like you, you're doing really well. Your finances are really well. Your business is doing really well. I feel like you are juggling a bunch of stuff in your life. You're juggling love, you're juggling emotions, you're juggling happiness, you're in a growth period, your business is growing, you are growing. I feel like this emperor is coming in because they see that you have been doing really well in your life. This person has got it bad for you. We've got the lovers here. We have the King of Swords and Justice. I feel like you're not, like, you're like, you shall not pass, buddy. You need to stay on the threshold. You need to stay on the porch. I'll be with you in a second, but I got a few things to say to you, and you better be honest with me. Otherwise, I'm cutting you out. The King of Swords isn't taking it, right? And I feel like the King of Swords is kind of the energy you're in with the Emperor. You're like, yeah, you think you're, you think you're the big dog, Emperor? Well, I'm coming at you as the King of Swords. And if you don't answer these questions right about what you're doing here for real, for real, I'm just going to cut you right out. That's what it feels like here. So I think that although the emperor is arriving, I feel like you are somebody who is in charge. Yep, I feel like you are. I feel like you're just holding back. That's all you're doing. You're holding back, waiting for the victory. And um, I feel like, you know, when this person shows up, it's, it's, it's going to be an internal struggle for you. You're not really sure what this person wants with you because you did have a really hard time in the past after splitting. Um, and I, I say splitting as friends. I don't think something fell out and you two are, you two be, became um, apart from each other and no longer as friends. Yeah, we stopped working on it. Look, we stopped working on this and it came to silence and it was really disappointing. And then we have the four of cups and the nine of swords here. And that tells me that somebody was worried that it got quiet. Um, but we do have somebody who's coming back here that wants to give you reciprocity and has never lost the spark. I feel like they're ready. They're ready this time. And you can take that for what it is. I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you, Taurus, for watching. I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.